Hi everybody. I just wanted to be able to give you a another update uh, from the last one that we did. Um, um, it's now been 20 days uh, since uh, Jennifer got uh, got hit. Um, she was hit on September 22nd. It's now the 11th of October, and uh, actually the 12th of October. I'm so sorry. Anyway. Um, she is making progress, um, but she's uh, you know she's still not out of the woods in any way, shape, or form. Um, before I get into all of that, I want to thank all of you guys. Um, I, I can't even begin to tell you uh, what what it means. Uh, you know, um, we uh, we're getting still to this day. You know, so many you know, prayer requests and people just texting and messaging and sending cards and letters. Um, you know, just, hey, how's Jennifer doing? Let, just to let you know that she's in our thoughts and on our prayers. And it's not just here in the United States, locally here in the Sacramento area. It's from all over. And um, later on down the road, I've got a, a list of all the people that have donated, um, you know, the the GoFundMe has been doing doing pretty well, um, and um, and then we've had people that just didn't want to do GoFundMe and they're just sending checks, and so um, we're going to be able to basically get the uh, majority of Jenny's expenses reduced, so um, you know, so her disability and that type of stuff will. will once we finally get it kicked in, um, that we'll be able to do something, you know, to be able to help her. Um, sorry for being a little tongue-tied. Um, yeah, we've learned a, we've learned a lot of things out of this whole thing. Um, we have not been able to get her unemployment set up um, because, due to all of the scams that was going on in California, there. Um, everybody was just you know filling everybody's mailbox up, and they were just getting. They were getting benefits from everything, and so now what they require is that you file online, you show them your driver's license, and then at the very end, you have to scan their face. Well, Jennifer's not in a position to be able for a phone to be able to scan her face and be able to make any recognition about how she looks because of all the tubes and all the different things that she's had in her in her mouth and and um, you know just you name it it's just not so we still haven't been able to get her um, <clears throat> not her unemployment but her disability uh, going so we're gonna have to try to do it a little different way we're not exactly sure how we're gonna do it um, but anyway guys I just want to tell you um, Jennifer is uh, supposed to be being moved today um, from the ICU unit um, down to a not the regular floor, but <clears throat> like a like a meta uh, like a I don't know, I'm not exactly sure they use the the word um, med floor, and um, so basically that's an interim between the ICU and the regular floor, and um, so that will relieve a little bit of you know tomorrow I think they're going to be able to lift the the uh, COVID restriction. Jenny had had COVID um, about two weeks before the accident, and um, but when she went into the, into the hospital, she tested positive for COVID, even though the regular tests had showed she wasn't, and she's had not had any signs of it, so uh, they were just being precautionary. Um, but anyway, that'll be lifted tomorrow. But basically what's going on with her right this minute is that they since I talked to you guys last she had to have she's had to have another four or five surgeries on her arm she had to go back in and they had to work on her kidney again um, because it was leaking and it was causing a really bad infection um, so <clears throat> it in itself is a miracle that she even has that kidney so we're not complaining you know I mean it's not it I mean with what the doctor had to work with it's it's a freaking miracle that um, that she has it and they're pretty sure that she's you know that her, her kidney's gonna gonna make it so uh, that's a good thing um, 
but she's had you know a lot it, it's it's tough a lot of fever she's had fever basically every day for the last last week and a half all the different infections that she's had from the kidney to um, you know catheter the catheters caused problems they gave her a UTI infection she's got all these different things going on and um, so they're having to be very careful. She's had multiple uh, surgeries on her arm. She's going again in today. So basically what they're doing is that from about here down was damaged. So they're slowly move, inching it down. Okay, and they're having to pull a skin graft from her inside of her, her thigh. So um, <clears throat> they're assuring me that this should be, you know, over time, this should come back. And then she's gonna, she's gonna have a total disaster as far as what she had as far as a tattoo, but um, I'm sure she'll just go down and get it re-tattooed. The hand surgery that she's got coming up probably in the next couple weeks, um, that I was being told is about a 10 to 12 hour surgery. Um, and it's very intricate to be able to put your hand back together. And, and so um, she's got that coming. Um, so that that's kind of what's up there. Um, they were pretty sure in the beginning that they were not going to have to give her a tracheotomy um, and they were going to be able to leave the breathing tube in and then finally take it out but when she got those fevers it really set her back and so she wasn't really able to breathe on her own like they wanted her to so um, they convinced me uh, it was uh, it was a couple day deal before I agreed to it I did not want her I kept telling the, the you know the, the powers that be. I said, "There's a reason that they saved Jenny's face; that she didn't, her face didn't get hurt." So I was trying not to have a, the trach done, um, you know, because I didn't want her to have another scar. And um, so finally, they told me that if I didn't, I was taking the chance that it could cut off the air supply, and if that did, that would probably be the final nail um, for her brain. So. I, we went ahead and we approved to go ahead and have it done. Um, so she's on the trach. Uh, as of yesterday, she was, again, we, they got rid of that fever. So she's able to breathe and she's breathing room air. She's not having to, she's hooked to a ventilator, but the ventilator is off. So um, the, the thought is, is that maybe in the next month or so, they might be able to take her off of it, but they know they need it for the surgeries and that type of stuff. So um, that's that's kind of where we're at with that. And then um, we're we're just uh, you know we're just hopeful that you know the the amantadine that they're giving her um, has been starting to work. Um, as I think I told you before, she was not responsive. Her pupils didn't respond. Nothing responded. You know, you get an occasional movement of her hands, but she is now. She's like indexing this these fingers. Um, she'll hold your hand, and we don't know if that's involuntary or if it's if she's really doing it yet. Um, same thing with all the other limbs. I mean, her arms move, her, her legs are moving, her toes, she's wiggling, all that type of stuff. But probably the best description is what my wife, Jennifer, um, said is that, yeah, she's opening her eyes, she's not tracking. Um, she's really kind of almost in the exact same state that a newborn baby would be in, if that gives you any clue. I mean, her eyes are open, you can definitely tell. Um, she closes her eyes and she almost uh, almost snores. She can't snore with the trach, but you can tell when she you know closes her eyes to go to sleep, um, and then she does open them. So, like I said, but it, it's really like you can almost see that the that the eyes are moving, and they're they're like she's rewiring. I mean that's. That's my feel. I, I, I don't know if that's really the case, but that's that's what I think is happening. Um, so, guys, I don't want to drag this out any longer. Uh, I just wanted to fill you guys in. I, you know, um, I haven't been updating on Facebook uh, very much because we've just been so busy. You know, um, you know, uh, it's gotten to the point where all the people at the hospital all know our, our names, and and you know that isn't a good thing. Uh, I have been looking into trying to figure out how to get some information um, out of the state about the um, about the intersections because, like I said, we're going to go after that and see if we can try to get that done. 
We're also going to try to get on the on the news and see if we can possibly get some exposure uh, to maybe pay attention. Uh, Plumas Lake shows their the sign when you come into town. It says uh, it's 5,600 people. I can guarantee you without a doubt that just in the little small subdivision that I'm in over here is 5,600 people. So we have a lot of people in Plumas Lake, and these roads were not really designed for this. And so we got to figure out a way because we had another accident since I talked to you um, last time. There was another accident in the same same spot um, this last Saturday. Uh, I don't know the specifics about it yet, but th this has got to stop. So. Um, Again, if you guys happen to know anybody that works for Caltrans, um, I've had a few of you that reached out and gave me some information. They're doing some checking, but if, if you guys have anything, the more people that we have to go and make some awareness, get some people to you know to uh, wake up and, and help us, that'd be the greatest thing that could happen. So anyway, um, as you guys all know, uh, we did do a GoFundMe. Um, I'll put that information in the in the description box, I'll put it here on the screen, um, as well as I'll put my information if you don't want to use GoFundMe, if you want to send something to Jennifer, whether it's a card, um, whether it's a, you know, um, you know, a donation, um, you know, just uh, just send it to this address and, and we'll, we'll make sure that it gets handled. Um, so this is going to really help Jennifer and the kids uh, to be able to um, be able to keep on going. So, um, guys, that's again, that's about it. Oh, um, one other thing, I'm going to start posting some new videos uh, for some C8 work that we did that I filmed a few months ago. Um, and the videos, I had promised a few videos back that I was going to start releasing them, and then this happened to Jennifer. So, anyway, when you see these. Um, you'll know that these were filmed a couple months ago and I just need to get them out for our sponsors um, because you know they they sent me this these products and you know and um, they've been really good nobody's given me a bad time about it I just feel guilty that the videos haven't come out so I'm gonna start putting those out okay so I just don't want you to think I'm over here doing a bunch of videos and moving on with you know I just want to make sure that you guys know that these were already done and prepped and ready to go so so anyway uh, enough of that I just wanted to fill you guys in so uh, hopefully you guys are all having a good day please keep Jennifer in your prayers and um, We'll, you know, I'll update you as soon as I know some more. All right, guys. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll talk to you later.